Of course, I'm, I'm never content with, with one sleeper. I always want more sleepers. So I've, I've taken apart another another Lima sleeper. Did it really easy this time. It just, just shows if, if the coach isn't damaged, um, how easy it can be to get into them. This just took me seconds. Once you know, you know. So I'll add that to the rake. And here we have the interiors for the coach under construction. These are quite simple, they're just made out of this one millimetre thickness uh, plastic, plastic sheet. Mostly just little rectangles cut into shape. Um, for the profile of, of the bits that fit um, next to the windows, these the bits that go across the vehicle, what I just did was trace this bit at the end to get that right, but the rest just rectangles. Um, I've painted these using acrylic paints, uh, mixtures of blue and uh, rail white to get the right shade of blue. Um, the doors are quite dark so I just used this neat. Um, same with the little, these two little pieces of, of, of um, plastic here. This is These are the pieces of um, worktop that cover the um, wash basin in the Mark III coaches. You don't have to actually make wash basins for a model Mark III. You don't have to make, make interiors for that matter, but I am. Something that something that I've used for the for the duvet. This was just a piece of um, paper from t from on, off of, off the edge of a leaflet from Tesco. I just folded the white side over onto the um, this night's purpley side, which which looks good for for the blankets. For the um, pillows, I've used uh, white putty. Just made some rough pillow shapes out of white putty. And then I've painted them with uh, with the white acrylic, which was all, all rather easy. Of course, um, I've got somebody sat on the edge of the bunk there that's going to be installed. And I'm also going to put somebody, quite a short person, in one of the beds. This is one of the this is the other piece of uh, bed plastic. I hope I haven't made a mess of that. Something that I've done inside the coach you look down inside the coach you can sort of see it is I've, I've put in a couple of little rectangles of plastic to represent the floor of the the two compartments I'm doing because I'm only doing two compartments the rest of the compartments are going to have the blinds down because I can't be bothered to do whole coaches and mostly they ran with the blinds down anyway because people were asleep so yeah that's it that's that's the interior i'll just i'll show you what it looks like when it's complete another thing i'm going to do is on this side on on the corridor side i'm going to paint some little rectangles in brown to represent where the doors are because there's nothing on this piece of plastic to represent where the doors are they they tend to be um not that visible through the windows. Only if you look at it really diagonally, you can sort of see it. But I, th I, th I think I'll do that just because it will improve the interior of the corridor a little bit. And that's about it, really. The people, you know, these people were a pound for fifty from eBay from a from a Chinese seller. The white putty, a couple of quid from a model shop. Again, this uh, these interiors can be done for pennies. There I've got somebody sat on the bunk, and in this one, somebody in bed. I think that's pretty cool. Quick shot to show the little worktops that uh, fold and hide the sink. On either side of these two thin bits. And that's the, uh, the doors painted to the buds. And also the toilet doors. Um, I've just put some mirrors in the coach on the door, on the inside of the door, and a, and a full-length mirror opposite the bunk. 
And to do this, I've used the the same uh, foil tape that I used to light proof the ceiling of the coach. It's quite useful for making little things like mirrors. And there we have it. The um, interior of the coach is now complete. I'm happy with that. So I'll put the coach back together. And the uh, the wire for the uh, pickup is, is threaded through the corridor, through the little holes I drilled. And um, I've actually glued in the interior with two spots of super glue. I'm just weighing it down with uh, a couple of um, things uh, as it sets. See, it's only 12 volts. That's off the, the light store unit, so it's always good to do these continuity tests. So there we have it with the lights installed waiting final assembly. And here we are with the lit coach. The light coming through the blinds. We've got a berth set. It's yeah, it's kind of a bit frosted the glass on here, just a bit wiggle again. But, uh, yeah, there's the power again, there's the lights. Just read. And here we have the coach with the lights on. And here is the coach with the lights on. Shining through quite nicely. That's that's the there's the berth. It's a bit frosty. You can't really see much in there, but you can sort of make out fuzzy bits and pieces, I suppose. It's it's nice to have done them anyway. Um, and that's the coach. And this is the other side of the sleeper. You can actually make out the doors quite well the way that I've done it if you point the camera diagonally so it, it does it has improved it yeah I'm just going back a little bit I think that's quite nice I think that lighting is a great improvement to this Mark III coach.